Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. My name is Greg with the Crafting Brothers and I have something fun for you guys today. Back to cheap miniatures. I found this cool little Kickstarter. Now I didn't back the Kickstarter. Uh, it ended, but I found them on Amazon. So I'm going to show you them today. They're uh, Fantasy and Hero Miniatures by Wildspire. And I think it's a pretty neat little set. So let's open them up and see what we got. A uh, little thank you card for ordering. Which is nice. They are $39 on Amazon. I'm not sure if you can get them anymore. They actually sold out pretty quick. $39 on Amateurs and you get uh, 28 miniatures. So uh, I worked it out to about a buck forty a miniature, which is right around in the price range of cheap miniatures. Uh, Pre-painted miniatures are 3 to 5 bucks a piece and unpainted I like to get for cheaper. So these are uh, pretty cheap. Let's just go through them and see what we got here. Uh, we've got, first I'll pull off this elephant. I think this is a really nice elephant. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm good. Really nice elephant. Um, I don't have any elephant miniatures, and I think this is nice. This might be one of the ones that I paint up at the end of this. Stay tuned. I'll paint up a few of them, show you what they'll look like. Um, this is a really nice little miniature uh, elephant. And again, these are all 28 millimeter scale. They're perfect scale for D&D. &D. So, um, that's that. Then we've got here... We've got kind of a lizard, they don't really tell you what they are, but this is kind of a monitor, 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 minotaur. No, that's a, another creature. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of like that, that uh, giant lizard thing, which is kind of cool. He's carrying some backpacks and stuff. That's a fun one. Um, uh, this is a mouse with a sword and a little uh, pin, kind of like Thumbelina, or Tom Thumb from back in the day. So, um... Interesting, not sure if I would ever use that, but uh, interesting. A lot of these are kind of animal-based, um, and again, these are cheap, cheaper miniatures. So you're going to get some some of them that are better sculpts than others. I think this dark gray uh, material seems to come out better than the light gray material. I'm not sure what they used here, but this is a, I don't really know what that is, but uh, some kind of big a furry creature. It could be used uh, as... Anything like that. So you got that. Um, let's see here. This is a uh, cat-like character holding something, holding a, holding a head of something else. I'm not sure what that is. That is a, what do you call those cat races? Please comment below let me know what that is. It's a, I uh, forgot what they were called. But it uh, definitely can be used for that. So that's kind of a, a neat little miniature. Let's see what else we got here. We got some, look at that, cat sitting on a throne. It's not something you see every day. Um, that's kind of neat. I might end up painting that up. That's more of a, a decorative piece than it is a uh, a player character, but uh, you could still use it if you wanted to, I suppose. Um, okay, we got a nice little bird sitting on a skull. Again, maybe decoration, maybe it's not, maybe you want to use it for a, a, a flying creature or not. Uh, but anyway, I think it's neat. And now we've got a, this looks like kind of a halfling riding on a dog. Uh, she's a smaller character. She's not as big as like a normal, normal size. Uh, so it's either a gnome or a halfling or something like that sitting on a dog, riding a dog. So there you go. It could be a could be a familiar. Could have a dog familiar, which is kind of fun if you want to play that. There is some sort of ooh. That's a that's not a that's not a sword. That's like a fiery uh, a fiery magical effect coming out of there. So this is some sort of mage or some sort of magic user female character with a cat looking out the back, looking in the backpack. And look at that. Got a familiar. She's wearing a backpack, and she has her familiar in her backpack. So that's kind of fun, too. Uh, very specific, some of these characters. Very specific. Uh, here's a guy who just a... Uh, this is uh, definitely a, maybe a bard type performing in a bar, carrying a jug of, jug of beer. Some sort of performer character you would find in a town or in a, in a city uh, bar area. Okay, here's a... Another cat-like lion-type creature. That is neat. Lion-type character. Um, these would look good painted up, I think. I think for the price range, I think these are decent decent sculpts. And I think it's a good 
good way to go if you're uh, if you're looking to just collect a lot of characters for your campaign and you don't mind painting some up. I think this might be a decent way to go. Um, so I have another character that could be in a tavern or something, maybe a chef. It's got a chef's uh, blade in the back here and holding a pan. Maybe it's the top of a lid as a shield. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. That's kind of fun. Okay. Let's see. Well, they do come really nice packaged. A lot of these really nice packaging. And I kudos to the people who are doing this. There's a rabbit. A kind of a rabbit with the, the horns. I don't know. What you, a jackrabbit maybe. One of those ones with the horns. Small small little jackrabbit. Um, there's a dog. So that could be used... So if you had a miniature, if you had a gnome girl miniature, which I do, Nolgers makes one, a halfling, you can use it, uh, and you can have a dog as a as your familiar. Now you can be riding the dog, or you could be you can have the dog, um, you know, at your command to do what you need. So that's kind of fun. This is a chicken. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen a chicken, <laughs> a chicken miniature. I don't know if I'd ever have use for a chicken miniature, but uh, it exists, and I love the fact that it exists because every once in a while I'm going to need a jackrabbit <laughs> or a, a chicken, and I'm going to say that I have one. So there you go. Um, what is this going on? These are strange. Some of these are kind of strange. This one is kind of like a performer. What has he got? And he's got a sword in his mouth performing something or about to dice somebody up this can be used as a thief or something or another bard type character so uh you have that okay moving right along these are fun a dwarf okay finally one that you can actually recognize from the get-go a dwarf uh which is neat a dwarf he's holding a he's holding a bat with a bird sitting on the bat a spiked bat almost like a negan in uh in the walking dead so there you go there's your dwarf there's your average dwarf character but a little bit different these are like characters that you might not encounter otherwise i think that was kind of the point of the the kickstarter campaign is these are characters you wouldn't necessarily uh need but they come in handy for certain circumstances and ones you can't get through the mainstream mini world here is some sort of minotaur um minotaur character holding a book and a wand or something so that could be a minotaur cleric or something like that uh again these are very specific but uh if you don't have it or if you have the need for something like that they're cheap enough to get get your hands on it's kind of neat here's okay here's some sort of cleric with a, a bunch of books and a scroll that's actually a good miniature right there that's actually a really good miniature i like the sculpt i like the uh the way that looks so that one can be used here is another, what is that? Another rat? Another mouse type character? <laughs> okay, so I got two mouse, two mice. Uh, I think it's a mouse in there. I'll zoom in. Hopefully I can zoom in on that and show you. I think it's a mouse. Um, so I have two mice. Yeah, it's definitely a mouse. It's got a little mouse tail. So there you go. Another mouse magic. Uh, I've got a little mouse clan going on. So that's a mouse magic user, mouse wizard, a mouse wizard. I mean, if you have a campaign where someone's turned into a mouse, then, uh, you know, it's right along the line. This is kind of neat. This is a, that's a dragonborn, no tail. So you got a dragonborn type of character. And that looks like kind of a dragonborn blacksmith, which is neat. A lot of townsfolk, their first Kickstarter these guys did was all about townsfolk. And it had really unique characters that you might encounter in a town. Very unique, specific characters. I didn't get that Kickstarter because I don't have a lot of use for bizarre town folk, but uh, but I wanted to get this one because I thought this one was a little more appealing. Now here's uh, interesting. That's a gnome or a yeah, kind of a gnome sitting on a sitting on what? Sitting on dra oh, sitting on a dragon's head. Look at that, a gnome sitting on a dragon's head. There's a sword in the dragon's head. So someone sliced the head off. And the gnome is sitting on the sword on the dragon head. That's actually really neat. I might paint that one up. That might be one I painted. I don't know. I'm going to pick a few. You know me. I just pick a few of them. I don't like mini paintings. So I'll pick a few of them and then I'll just uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll paint a couple of them up and show you. But I, let me plow through the rest of these because I think the rest are animals. You have a, what is that, a skunk? No, it's a something. Some sort of woodland creature. Not sure what that is. Can be used as all kinds of different woodland creature types. You have another little woodland creature type. Um, what is that? What is that, hedgehog? I don't know. If you guys know what any of these are, feel free to comment down below. I didn't do a lot of research as to exactly what characters were what, but uh, I'm sure you could probably go down the rabbit hole of finding their website. I'll, I'll link the Kickstarter down below to give you guys a kickoff point as to how to find these somewhere else. But this is neat. This is a antlers. This is a deer, some sort of um, some sort of wild creature. I did run a campaign where there was a uh, a golden stag in the in the mountains that had a golden that had golden fur. I could have used this in that campaign because I needed a stag uh, to paint gold. So, um, all right, here we have is that dog? Yes, I think it's a dog with armor on. A armored dog. So that could be used maybe as a baby wolf or something too. As a little wolf, armored wolf, you can use it. Or here is a monkey. Uh, just a silly little monkey type character sitting down doing whatever a lot of these you could even paint up to be statues if you wanted to if you had a, a room like this one and a little cat this could easily be just a, a statue of a cat and then you could have a bunch of these animals just in a room as statues or representing something else representation so anyway that's the end of it that's the kickstarter thank you to uh Wildspire. They didn't send me this. I actually bought them. So that's my true and honest opinion of these uh, of these characters, these miniatures. I'll do a final shot of the whole thing and maybe I'll paint a few of them up, show you at the end. So thanks for joining me and we will see you next time with another cool video. Have a good one. Here are the few that I painted up and as I was painting them I realized how ridiculous the scale is of that elephant. It should be about four times larger, but oh well. It looks cool anyway. So here they are all in their glory. I think it's a great set. It's bizarre, it's unique, it's fun, and uh, that's about it. So thanks for joining me, and see you next time.